Let's get that update on Hurricane Irma. Still a long ways away from the United States mainland, but uh, just in the last few hours, actually all morning long, it's been intensifying and actually looks a lot better on the satellite presentation here. Category 3 storm, but that pressure has been falling steadily throughout this morning and uh, actually just looks really healthy right now on the satellite picture, and it is going to continue to strengthen as it heads towards the Lesser Antilles. Eventually could make a very close call to Puerto Rico, a territory of the United States, and then possibly possibly talking about an impact somewhere in the Bahamas, maybe even down to Cuba and notice that four there. That would be the National Hurricane Center thinking it could possibly be a category four hurricane or even stronger than that. The big question from here for the mainland US is what happens next? And that is a million dollar question at this time. Last week we talked about that big Bermuda high being a factor and at this point I think we've resolved what the Bermuda high is going to do. It's going to be a strong one, so it's going to force uh, Irma down to the south. Now we're also watching late the uh, late week system that's going to move through the Susquehanna Valley in the form of some rainfall and some cooler temperatures by Friday. Once that moves off the coast by the weekend, if it's stronger and slower, it'll try and grab Irma and bring it right up the coast or very close to it. Still a possibility it could recurve out to sea and not actually make landfall in the United States, but I think those chances are starting to shrink. And then there's the other alternative where it's a weaker, faster system. It does not capture Irma at all, and you can see where that track would take it. And that is bad news here. And it looks like, again, the United States mainland need to be watching this very close. So Irma will be a very powerful storm in the Caribbean islands, including some U.S. territories, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, and places in the Bahamas at risk for a major hurricane landfall. Uncertainty does grow past the Bahamas. And the big question mark is, will it be a mainland U.S. impact? So we will keep you up to date as we get closer, as we go through time, and those uh, at least those solutions become a little more clear.